Let me take the list of my friends, eight of my friends, namely Rishi, Yayati, Varsha, Anamika, Akriti, Vidya, Amit and Simran. I go to all these eight people and ask them, what is your day of birth? By day, I mean Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right? They all will give me their respective answers, hoping that they know their, their day of birth. All of us know, in fact. They all will give their answers, but one thing is for sure, that two people here would be born on the same day. When I asked them, I noticed that this was the answer. And you see that there are two people born on the same day, as you can see. This is like what, stating the obvious. You take eight people and you ask them, what is your day of birth? What is your day of birth? A person can be born in one of these seven days. When you take eight people, definitely, for sure, you will find two people with the same day of birth. Now, let me do some other experiment. Let me go on the roads and ask people randomly their DD. M M. By this I mean their day of birth and month of birth. DD stroke M M. Let me ask a few people and see if I find two people who were born on the same DD M M. Now, if I were to do this experiment, do you think one can guarantee me of a repetition if I go and talk to 40 people? Maybe not. Look at the previous example. If I take eight people for sure, two people will be born on the same day. But if I ask them DDMM, there are 365 possibilities, 366 possibilities if you include the leap year. Unless I have more than this number, assume I had some 400 people, then I know some two people will have the same DDMM. If I take less than 365, can I guarantee? Maybe not. But I will challenge you all that if you go on the roadside and stop 40 people who are going, going by and ask them their DDMM, in 40 or 50 counts, you will definitely see two people with the same DDMM. If you don't believe me, come let's go and conduct this exercise and then check whether what I am saying is right or not.